Hey guys, this video was brought to you by Envato Elements. You can get a free month in the link below, but more of that at the end of the video. And how's it going guys? Joshua Lefemi here live in LA, and I'm going to show you a cool way to work in Teams. Basically, when you're working in Teams in the world of video editing, you're going to have a second video editor, and you're going to have to figure out a way how to share your project file with them. Now, as you guys know, when you're sharing your project file so that they can work on that same edit, you're going to have to share all of the source footage that's associated with that project file as well, or else you're going to have a project file that's full of offline unlinked red clips. Now there's an easy way and a hard way of doing this. For the longest time I would do the hard way by doing everything manually. Basically I'd email over the project file, that's easy, and then I'd have to go and literally itemize and count and figure out every single clip name that's within that project file and then create my own folder and place all those clips in there manually. What you may not know is that Premiere can actually do this automatically for you and I'm going to show you. Let's take, for example, this tutorial that I just made with my bro, James Berry. Look at all the different clips. There's so many different media in here. What if I wanted to give this to my assistant editor to do something extra with it? What Premiere is gonna automatically do is basically give me a neat package, a self-contained package, which is basically gonna be a folder. Within that folder is gonna be my project file and all of the source media that's associated with that project file. It's so easy, check this out. Go to File, go to Project Manager, and then you know you have the choice of choosing all the sequences that you want to have and that you will want to use in this new in this new project. I would just highlight all the sequences um, and the nested sequences, and then you're going to say Collect Files and Copy to New Location. You can do Browse, and let's just say the new location is the desktop doesn't matter where it is. Then you have the option of excluding all unused clips. I would definitely check this so that you can have as little clips in that folder as possible. You only want to use the clips that are actually being used in your sequences. And then I would uncheck everything else. And then you're going to click calculate. This is just something that you can do if you want to calculate what the resulting project size will be. That's basically the size of the project file as well as all of your source media. And it's gonna be 16 gigabytes. Okay, and you click okay. And then you wait for everything to be analyzed, copied and created. All right, let's go onto the desktop and see what we have. All right, look at this. We have copied James Berry. This is a self-contained folder I talked about. Uh, let's click onto it. And there we go. We have everything. We have the main project file. And then we have all of the other media, the photos and as well as the videos. And heck, they even put the After Effects project file that I forgot I even had in here. I had a project I had After Effects uh, composition in there that I dynamic linked somewhere in there. I think it was for the text. So technically, if you were to go and take this folder and send it to your editor, they could then click onto it and immediately click on to James Berry. And everything that would need to be linked, it will be within this self-contained folder and it will be perfect, like so. Thanks so much guys for watching. Please remember that you can get Envato Elements for free for the first month just by clicking down in the link below. Envato Elements is a subscription service that gives you free downloads to literally millions and millions of the best stock footage, royalty-free music, transition packs, sound effects, Premiere Pro and After Effects templates, literally anything you'd want as a video editor. It's amazing. I download stuff from them literally every day for all my projects I do. Please make sure to like and share this video. Please make sure to subscribe to the channel. I actually have two more videos for you to watch. And as always, guys, remember to keep it chill.